Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kente Johannes with It's Necessary. I hope everybody has had an amazing morning. Um, so anyways, if you can, and I know you can, I hope you can, um, can you guys please hit that subscribe button? I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, so hit that little red subscribe button. Thank you so very much. I don't want to put my nails too much in it because I need another manicure. Um, anyways, um, so thank you for that. And give me a thumbs up too, please. If you just take a extra second to do that but um so anyways update on my book i got the um, revised edit version um on friday morning and um just finished this morning going back through it and editing it there's a couple editing their editing and um however that's however i'm supposed to say that but anyways um so that's going to be submitted back today and um yeah so thank you guys for going on this journey with me and being patient with me um due to everything that's going on but uh yeah so please continue to subscribe to my channel and i'm going to get into what i want to share on this morning um one of the things that's in the book 32 addresses now the the first one that we have is um it's nest because it's necessary and then it's just an um um an opening to the 32 addresses so it talks about you know different places that i live some of the experiences that i went through but one of the experiences that i want to share on this morning my cousin i must just say her name because she's she's awesome she's a rock star tanya curry um i love her so much i thank god for her this and it's she's in the book but her name's not in there but um i just want to say this morning i want to say thank you to my cousin tanya um i was thinking about the times when you know she had moved um, from Los Angeles to our city, you know, to Monrovia. And um, I was staying, you know, across the street from her grandparents' house. I think she was around 17 years old. I think I was like eight or something like that. And um, Tanya, she, she would come over, you know, she knew the situation that, you know, my brother and I were in. And she would come over there and get me up in the morning and Tanya, I hope you're watching this because because I really thank you. Um, but this is what she did, you guys. Okay, let me get back to the on the subject. So she would come over early in the morning and she would uh, wake me up and make sure she gave me a bath. You know, she'd give me a bath and get me dressed. And it was this one outfit that I loved to wear. And I didn't know that she knew I loved to wear it, but um, it was a pair of yellow overalls and then it was a, a white like halter top, you know. And so uh, that was like my favorite outfit. And then, you know, she would, um, bathed me and made sure I had breakfast and she would comb my hair and Tanya only had two hairstyles because even her daughter wore the same hairstyles that she put me in when her daughter you know came along but she would wear the have the two ponytails on the side and the one in the back or just two ponytails oh so there was three styles or one ponytail in the back and Tanya she would comb my hair she you know how to do the you know y'all thought you guys can do this baby hair nowadays you know but now y'all ain't got nothing on Tanya and Wordy they could do some baby hair <laughs> so she would do my baby hair and um she'd get me all dressed up and greased up and she would take me to los angeles so my um i learned how to ride the bus because of um her you know um i was able to you know remember the stops at you know at that age and stuff like that and and i just i'm really grateful to tanya um um, she's been a blessing and she's been an inspiration because I know the things that she had to fight through, you know, even as a teenager, but she's an overcomer. And, um, I just wanted to know, I appreciate her. She, you know, she's brilliant. She's resilient. Um, um, you know, everybody has challenges in life, but she's helped, she helped me through my childhood. She, you know, she was like, come on, we were both dark skinned. So, you know, she would, like I said, she would get me, you know, greased up, get my bath and get me greased up and, and just put me on a cute little outfit and, and make me feel pretty. And so Tanya, I thank you for making me feel pretty, you know, even when, you know, everything else was going on that made me feel ugly and unwanted, but cause I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you so much. You're an inspiration to my life. You're an inspiration to who I am today. Um, anytime I, you know, and I thank you for engaging even in these videos. Um, but uh, yeah, girl, you're a rock star. So you rock on. All right. Black power, woman power, peace, po just power to the people in Jesus name. God bless you. God keep you all. God motivates you all. And Tanya, I love you. I appreciate you. And um, girl, you rock. <laughs> all right. Tell the grandbaby and Charmaine cousin said, hey. All right. Love you guys. Again, it's Kente Johannes. Please remember to subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up and share my channel. All right. God bless you guys. And um, 60 to 90 days, I'll have the book. All right. You guys have a good one. God bless. Stay 
intentional, stay purposeful. I keep saying I'm about to be out of here, but anyways, and have an amazing day on purpose. All right, Kente Johannes, deuces, I'm out.